welcome to another Tiny Home Tour brought to you by Blue Sky Tiny Homes. My name is Jennifer and I'm happy to show you around today. We're introducing our Kingfisher model and as you see on the outside we have a beautiful front porch entrance. The siding on this unit is board and batten as well as cedar siding and this tiny home is 28 feet long by eight and a half feet wide. I'm excited to show you around so let's go inside. Well, welcome into the Kingfisher. In this home, the first thing you'll notice is the tall ceiling. It's 10 foot high in the center and it's accented with beams. This is a dynamic design that provides an open feeling in this space and it's very enjoyable. This room has the kitchen area, the living space, and the dining space and I'd like to show you around first in the kitchen. So as you come into your home through the front door, you'll first enter into the kitchen and you'll notice the first thing is the dishwasher and secondly is a special feature under the sink there's a storage compartment there's a pull out trash can a nice drawer with built-in divider and a nice cabinet with a built-in drawer you'll notice that there's plenty of counter space and on the wall you have hanging storage there's cabinets above on both sides of the window and the window is a double hung window which sashes open in for easy cleaning. On this side of the kitchen is your fridge and freezer combo, as well as a full-size gas range and oven, microwave, and cabinetry above and below, which provide plenty of storage space. And so now we're in the living space. In this living space, you have two large double hung windows. You have a full wall of cabinetry and shelving for your storage. You have a large sofa, which doubles as a sleeping sofa bed. And on the other side is an end table that's built in. And I will demonstrate how to turn down the sofa bed. So to convert the sofa, first simply remove the cushions. And then from the center of the sofa, simply lift and pull, which reveals a large storage section for your linens. And then the back of the sofa, simply pull towards yourself. And the whole bed is ready to be made. When the sofa is converted into a bed position, it reveals the shelving along the wall. And over here, there's another large cabinet for your storage needs, as well as a potential entertainment center area. Beyond that is a bench seat for extra seating for your guests, as well as storage underneath the bench seat. We have stools under there because the back of the bench seat doubles as a dining table. So now let's take a look at your bathroom. First, you'll see a large vanity with plenty of storage underneath, as well as a drawer. There's a large mirror and extra storage above the toilet. The toilet is buyer's choice. We have a traditional toilet in here now, but it is optional if you'd like to exchange that for a composting toilet. And 
And now in this area, we have a shower stall that is three foot by three foot. And behind me is the towel bar. And then we have the washer and dryer combo for your laundry service. So now we're on our way to look at the loft. You access the loft by use of these stairs. This is a stair system that is removable, which allows you easy access for the installation of the mattress of your choice. So now we're up in the loft and it's lovely. In this loft there are four windows that provide excellent ventilation and air circulation. There's one window that's an egress window, and in this space you can fit a queen size mattress. So now I'm up in the loft and it's a really cozy and sweet place. There's a lot of storage area, shelving and cabinetry. And if you lift up this shelf, you'll find that this entire space is open for storage underneath as well. So there's plenty of storage in this area. So as we were designing this home, we decided to make the loft a private space. And in doing so, we needed a solution for bringing in cool air or warm air as needed. And so we solved that problem by installing a ventilation system. And there's a switch on the wall which controls that system. And you can turn on the AC for cool air or the heat for warm air. Well, I'd like to say thank you for joining me for this tiny home tour. If you'd like more information from us, please visit bluesky.tinyhomes.com and we will see you next time.